Howdy healers, welcome to Zero to KSM Hero, a series where I'll be attempting the Keystone Master Challenge in patch 9.1.5 on a brand new healer. The rules are simple. For the Alliance, least favored healer, least popular covenant, only moderate help from main character allowed, no linking Raider IO to main character, hugging only, and finally the challenge must be finished before posting the first video to avoid any external help or assistance, and of course, for the sake of integrity. Hi, hello, and howdy! Welcome back, everyone. In this episode, we're going to try to redeem ourselves just a little bit from last time, which uh, in the last episode, if you didn't remember, we had four untimed keys in a row, so that felt pretty crappy. And in this episode, our... Our dearest hope, our goal, if you will, is to get some time dungeons, so we're going to jump into it. So to start with, we get into a the other side, plus 10. This is hoping to do something about our problem where most of our 10 or higher keys are untimed, as you can see. It's not a good look for us, we don't like it, we would love to change that. So we get into this group and everybody's pretty friendly and and not too talkative, but friendly, which I like. So then we jump right on in and we get the key going. All right, let's do this. So I want to do a cooldown on the first pull here because some especially because I have some melee. Um I want to make sure that they I was going to say don't die, but <laughs> like you know, it happens. It's pretty chaotic. This is definitely a pool that if I was a melee player, I wouldn't particularly enjoy. But you can see how much healing a Mistweaver is capable of, especially with the legendary that I that I chose. Am I doing damage? No. Am I healing a crap load? Yes, absolutely. I did ring a piece even though it do it doesn't work. I think I've done that before. Sometimes you get scared, you know. This pool is one of the scarier ones. Uh, I think a lot of people are scared of it, so... I want to make sure I have stuff for this too. Barely dodged that. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. I mean, we had a death on the board, but... Eh. It is what it is, especially with melee in this dungeon. It's going to happen that somebody might die. See, and this is where you get the food, the drink, or the eat food faster one first, which is frankly ideal. Alright, so he's not like actually within range of the urn, which is unfortunate. There we go. And he's stunned, so there's no reason why I can't do some damage here. Alright, pulling this guy back and down the platform a bit is the way to go. I should be baiting those, like, even further out if possible. But he's dying pretty fast. Alright, so there's an urn over there. Cocoon the tank while I broke the urn, just because sometimes... In my experience, taking your eye off of somebody long enough to, like, do a cast time can be fun. Monk is, like, so OP when it comes to moving out of stuff. We've had a few people fly off the cliff already. It's, uh, an experience that happens sometimes. Doing big damn out here. I mean, this is what happens when somebody like me actually gets comfortable in a group and feels like they can contribute to damage without somebody dying. I appreciate that this tank isn't pulling like crazy. We, we have decent DPS. In fact, we have some really good DPS. But... We don't want to go... We don't want to be too crazy, you know? 
All right, got to juice up my tank in advance because when these guys come out of a stun, they're all going to attack at the same time. So who didn't see that coming? All right, so I think the percent to leave Arden Wield for season 2 was 64%. But I could be wrong. So I don't think we needed these little guys, but it's better to be safe than sorry if you really don't know. Because the last. The thing about this season was that the way that it was done is that most of the extra mobs are in Ardenweald. So if you're doing it first to like backtrack back to Ardenweald to get more is difficult, and the other wings don't really have a lot of, like, excess trash. You pretty much can get, like, most of your count just from Ardenweald. Easy. Now the worst part's just running back. Luckily, we have a warlock. Our tank's fighting something. Like, it makes me think he pulled something because he thought he needed more count, maybe? Like, we're fine. We don't need more count. Let's go. And the thing about running back is, like, maybe I could have ran ran back and helped out in enough time that I could have, like, saved everybody from dying. But at the same time, it's like, now we have to sit and fight this. And without our highest DPS, whatever he pulled, it was enough to kill him. So it was, like, a big enough pull to kill him. So it's like, eh. Luckily, we have an engineer here. Didn't fall off the cliff, so I'm doing pretty good. That timer sure is counting down. I love it when everybody's like typing in chat at the same time about what portal they're gonna take. Key to this boss, and it's still true. Don't blow all your cooldowns on him. In fact, don't blow any cooldowns on him. Unless you have like a one minute cooldown. <coughs> I'm allergic to this boss. At a certain point, you just have to commit. <laughs> Nothing's really happening while he's getting his life sucked out. So, like, I could definitely be in, in melee range. Nice. It's only a plus one, but we'll take it. Still some score for us. 27 points. That's not bad. Got a new cape. People are nice. People are talking a little bit. Nobody just immediately left the group. Good news for McFlare here. We did get our sweet cross-faction play. Or, I mean, we will be getting it, but, like, yeah, they announced it. So, like, it's good that the community was already kind of in agreement. At least Alliance side that it was gonna need to happen. Alright, so I'm sitting here thinking, like, they're complaining about not being able to find mid-level keys on Alliance, and I have a mid-level key, so I should announce that. Like, I should tell them, like, hey, I'm gonna do this. Anybody want to join me? Because it was a pretty good group. Like, we only postponed it, and it was a little slow, but we played it safe, and that's better than not timing it, especially after our last four untimed keys in a row on the same, like, day, no less. Alright, so McFlair says that they'll join us for some fun and games, so... Boom, we're gonna head to Halls of Atonement then. So, the only person that stays with us is McFlair, but that's okay because McFlair was pretty good. In fact, you can see by the damage meter, uh, I guess they took some avoidable damage, but like, whatever. At least their DPS was good, we'll, we'll give them that. We've had people that, like, took a lot of avoidable damage and had dumpster fire DPS, so like, if it's one or the other, you know what I'm gonna take. The damage dealer that does damage, right? So anyway, we decide that we're gonna we're gonna just do it. We're gonna give it a shot. So we get some people, we form a squad, and we bounce into the dungeon. All right, we got this. We got our squad. I didn't want to heal too much until they had some aggro. And we're getting time warp on the first pull here, which is pretty common. The mage is helping pull. This is where I really wish I was a shaman and I could, like, interrupt. 
It looks like our poor demon hunter friend is uh, str was struggling a little bit with the uh, lag, maybe. All right, and we did invite the mage because they said that they were a uh, venthyr, so we're getting our we're getting our money's worth out of our mage friend. I guess normally having a Venthyr isn't like at the top of my list of things I absolutely need for this dungeon, but if people note it in their like application or whatever, then I'm a lot more likely to remember like, oh yeah, I guess we need a Venthyr, or maybe not need, I guess we want a Venthyr. <laughs> I'm helping guys. Alright, so I'm grabbing a drink real quick while I have the opportunity. It looks like the mage is uh, decursing as well, which we love to see. I think I should just say that, like, I really like playing mage, but I'm, like, really freaking bad at it. Um, not really sure what happened there, actually. Something bad. That's okay. Fort Brew, I can... I'm not going to say tank it, but yeah, I could, like, tank these little dudes. It's not that bad. Alright, so we had a bit of a struggle, but you know what? It buys me plenty of time to sit and drink, I guess. So, because this, of all the Tormentors, Executioner Veruth is, like, my least favorite. He's, I hate him, actually. I guess I don't mind him that bad if he dies fast, but like when he doesn't die fast, he's the worst. And it's Grievous Week, so I don't want to like forget to heal everybody up. Our Demon Hunter is a little bit behind here. I wasn't paying attention to what realm they were from, but it's very possible I invited somebody who uh, is is lagging their brains out. <laughs> You see, I have great throughput, but, like, man, does it chew through my mana. I don't want to eat too long, because I don't want to take the risk of, like, people just straight up dying. I also have another shard, so I'm a little bit afraid of using another cooldown right now on this trash. But Sunstone's doing a lot of self-healing, like, obviously, doing way more than me. I keep thinking the, uh, Mage's Orb, the Frost Orb thing, is, is a mana orb. They look almost the same. This poor demon hunter probably is lagging out. I feel like check it up and seeing on where he's from. No, our friend was from Proudmoor. So, I don't know what's happening. It's possible their connection's just really bad, though. I don't know why I moved my statue there. I'm just really dumb, I think. Poor McFlare. I think the mage tried to double take the stoneborns and failed, but that's okay. I don't know why people are like trying to kill the, the loyal stoneborn. It's like, you could assume that as soon as the other one flies away, the mage is going to take this one. With, like, one health. Or just straight up died. <laughs> Even worse. Like, we could have had it. But, whatever. Alright, so in theory, what you want to do is bait these pulls at the back, so that it makes it easier for the tank to pull the mo or the boss to the middle. Doing, like, you know what I mean? Pulling the boss, like, big chunks at a time doesn't help unless he dies super fast. And usually he's not going to. Eventually you just give up. We got pretty lucky with placement here where everybody was standing in a reasonable spot. Except the, uh, demon hunter, apparently. And I'm gonna just be real here, but that demon hunter is 100% not even worth battle resing. Like, it's not worth wasting a battle res on. He's just, yeah, like, he just spent, like, 10 seconds doing nothing, but, like, being confused. Whether that's because he's a bad player or because it's a bad internet connection, I don't know. Before the 
like on the load into the dungeon, he spent like a long time on that load in screen, it seemed like. So like it could just be a bad connection, but I guess this is just going to prove that like anybody be can be carried to like a mediocre rating. I wouldn't have invited him if he didn't have some kind of rating. We love Shroud. Me, like, forcing myself not to hit roll in the middle of Shroud. Clean and easy. Oh yeah, that demon hunter is lagging pretty bad. <laughs> See him? God, he's doing his best. Cringe that I took the eating power, like, right before the last boss. Once again, our mage's attempt to du double gargoyle, like, failed be specifically because, like, nobody's paying attention. So I might have taunted it. I really wish that I would have just taunted it earlier, but... Like, wasted the gargoyle. Alright, let's go. Watching our demon hunter just, like teleport across the room every now and then is is pretty funny but like again once the once the group starts it's not like you can be like oh god guys like i'm lagging bye and just leave any dps at that point is better than none and he's usually doing like on bosses above the tank so it's not that bad But I can't imagine playing like that anymore. I played with, like, terrible lag back in the old days. When, uh, internet options were limited. <laughs> Look at him. He's trying so hard, but he's just skipping around. I'm just trying to get Mystic Touch up on everything to help out the DPS. Six minutes to do the last boss. We got this. Easy. Our demon hunter is just trying so hard. I feel bad for him. Like, I can't imagine what it would be like to play like that. Like a whole Mythic Plus dungeon. I barely have the confidence to do like a 15 even now. I can't imagine like you're lagging out just tr even trying to do like an 11. I barely saved him. <laughs> I ran right into that. Like I... I was like, there's a statue, and I didn't have time to think about what way it was facing. I just rolled into it. Alright, so another plus one. It's still 28 score for us, so that's good. And it looks like we've got a waste, which is a very slight upgrade, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers. Mage is getting us a portal... And I have a 12 Sanguine Depths, which I really do not want to do. And then I get brave and I whisper the uh, the rogue, who was nice and friendly because you know how it is. Like sometimes you run into people and they're not that friendly, but this person's friendly. So I give them my battle tag and they add me to the friends list. And then we never spoke again. No, I'm kidding. I mean, yes, we didn't speak again, actually. I realized that they're actually, like, a really, really good player. <laughs> so so they're, like, way better than me. And I'm like, oh, hello? McFlair. Why? I'm surprised. Like, what does that mean, dude? <laughs> what does that mean? Why are you surprised? Bro. We had a good time with, with our friend McFlair, so it was an adventure worth having. So moving on, we're gonna go and try another dungeon. We're on a we're on like a streak, it's New Year's Eve, we're vibing, let's try to get some more keys done. Alright, so it doesn't take us very long to get into surprisingly a 14 spires of ascension. Now, I'm, like, pretty hungry for the Spires because my current Spires is a depleted 11. And 
I have no idea, like, no clue why they invited me to this group when I haven't even done, like, a 12 or a 13 yet. So, they must have been desperate for a healer, and... Or they thought they could take, like, a lower-geared healer and be fine. I don't know. But I got got into this group. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes, I guess. Alright, we got this. He wants a big pool with time warp. However... It's inspiring, so it's already looking a little spicy. I try to like ring a piece of that guy down to like make it a little easier. For some reason, our red paladin is just like it takes him a while to even like get to the group and start DPSing. I don't know that this pull would be any better if he would have been in from the start, but like I literally have this feeling that like if I dispel, like it's not even gonna help. Alright, so first pool goes. I'm not gonna say it goes well, but it goes. And I have like a third of my mana, which isn't too bad. We're almost at fifty percent. Oh, and then this is just a massive... Yeah, like, I shouldn't have sat to drink, I think. And me healing this is, like, probably not even a good idea because... Like, there's clearly no way that we're that we're gonna live that. So, we all should have just, like, died as fast as possible, I think. Alright, we're gonna try to... We're gonna try to recover... But we have an inspiring mob, which I got obliterated, so. <laughs> I put the, the mark on the Goliath, but, like, in hindsight, it's not like it can even be interrupted. I shouldn't have gotten back in combat. I should have just... Waited, yeah. Just let him die, just let him die, just let him die, just let him die. Okay. Yeah, it's 100% just the fact that inspiring makes it so you can't kick anything, but, like, you have to burn the right mob down. But, like, in the meantime, the damage going out can just be so ridiculously high... And I only have one Dispel, right? Like, we don't have a Shadow Priest that can mass Dispel the whole party. Alright, so we have, like, nine deaths on the board, and we haven't even gotten past, like, the first hallway. That's bad, actually. <laughs> Like, I could heal the Rebellious Fist cast going off. Or the other abilities going off. But both at once is just, like, for my gear level and everything, just too much. I could have popped a cooldown, but I don't know that it would have, like, helped enough. Alright, we're gonna do our best here. Thank God Renewing Mist is a smart heal. If it wasn't, I can't even imagine. Alright, we made it fast the uh, first part, so... It can only get better from here, right? And after that Hunter, like... I don't want to sound too salty, but like... The Hunter complained that... We were dying on that first part, but then he doesn't even know to stack for this. Like, okay, but you have no room to be complaining about our tank when you don't even know the basic mechanic of the dungeon. It's drinky time. Look at that pro tank move there. He saw that the trap missed and pulled so that it would work better. This big brain. Alright, first boss. We'll see how this goes. Pro move by me. They'll get used to it. Alright, so that felt like it took a hundred years, but it's still a new record, I guess. 
And I guess on the plus side, people didn't take a ton of avoidable damage, so we were doing pretty good there, all things considered. I hate these guys. And they are taking forever to die. I dispelled a little too early again. That's like a bad habit. Hunter kind of unloaded, just like... I don't even say, he didn't even do any damage, so I don't know how he pulled aggro like that. He must have just walked too close or something. It's not that I dislike this dungeon, but it's just not one of my favorites. I don't even mind the brightness, I guess. It's a beautiful dungeon. Like, the design is amazing, but I don't know, I don't know. It's just not a favorite. Now for the spiciest pool, even though I highly doubt it's any spicier than the first couple of pulls. Alright, so the tank is letting us know that the skull is his responsibility to interrupt. I wish more groups did that, because what ends up happening is that everybody wastes their interrupt on the same guy otherwise, because they don't know who to focus. But, like, it still didn't help because, you know, a group still didn't interrupt. That's okay. So, I wasted Yulon for nothing. Because I panicked, but really, just like one getting off wasn't that bad. And like this is a 14, so even if it had gotten off in a 15, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have like killed killed us. It's like I was saying earlier. I could I could heal through a rebellious fist cast going off, or like you know maybe a couple of other casts, but probably not both at the same time. Figure I'll get a drink or whatever while I uh, while we wait for this patrol. Somebody used the spear in like the weirdest place. This is definitely an instance where the timer is tight as hell right now, and we should have just skipped Sagadon. Tank waited for me to get mana, I think, but, like, they shouldn't have waited that long. They should have waited till I was at, like, 50 and then pulled. But it's not my key, so, you know. The timer is pretty much like, yeah, it's a dead key. Like, 13 minutes to finish the dungeon. We'd have to be, like, DPS gods to get through it fast. This is a bad idea. Like, it's always a bad idea. It's always bad. Like, either call for a skip, or don't, but, like, I have never been able to jump up over that without pulling that guy. Except, like, maybe twice, and mostly in, like, normal mode. But then somebody else pulls it when they try to jump up. Even though they didn't- they don't seem to get, like, any closer than I am. I should have just used my invis pop, but then it was like, alright, but is anybody else going to be able to get through too? I don't know. Probably. The mage has invis. Literally don't know how the paladin got up there, and then I didn't. Maybe it was back like a quarter of an inch. My concept of space, like, my ability to tell... depth perception stuff is really, really poor, so... Like, even in video games, it's garbage. So I'm not good at that. I should have just used my potion. Again, I took the eating one at the very end of the dungeon. Seems pretty stupid. But, whatever. We all make mistakes. A little under eight minutes. Here we lost our uh, hunter right out of the gate. Alright, so our tank must have a... Um... Battle res, because he got him back up. Alright, so like, clearly five minutes isn't going to be enough to kill, like, the three angels and Devos. In fact, I would argue five minutes will barely be enough time to probably kill the three angels. And our DPS is okay, but certainly no triple angel level of okay. Rip. There's the hunter, sighing again. It's like, the paladins probably aren't gonna die. They have, like, abilities and stuff, you know? Well, I say that and then one of them dies, but... Fifteen deaths. Jeez. Alright. Let's keep going. I mean, it was 23 points, right? Can we have a slight upgrade here? 
sort of. But, uh, yeah, like, eh. It was an okay group. It could have been better. I definitely could have played better. But, like, the, the really bad part was kind of at the beginning where we all died enough and kept, like, dying. So, alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so the next group we get into is a plus 12 Necrotic Wake, and the key owner has quite a high score, or at least their main does. So, we feel pretty good about this one. Alright, we got this. We have faith. Our demon hunters are... Look at that! Darkness cooldown, let's go! We got an imprison, and somebody's grabbing the hammer. Big brain move right there. Trying to catch these guys up so I can drink. It's orb time, baby! This guy is taking a little while to die, but at least it's not hard to heal, so... In this house, we love orbs. Well, this was an experience. Die, we don't like you. Oh, I see a sparkly javelin. Mine. Someone used drums. Nice. Now for the fun part. That was slightly spicy. Rip. Monk's roll is OP. Finally! I do it right. We're almost at the end of the dungeon. There's no need to take a faster eating power right now. So I took the one where everybody moves a little faster in combat. It's really nice for the final boss here and... Also for, like, the fixates and stuff that pop out here. Alright, so I figure they'll be okay for a minute while I sit. But, like, it's a good thing I didn't sit for very long. This group is, like, really- has been really decent at interrupting. Rip. Rip. I could have saved him with a cocoon, I think. But he's a demon hunter, so I totally thought he was gonna, you know, glide away or whatever it is demon hunters do all the time. Jump, 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 jump. One thing I'm, like, kind of bad at doing is using hellstones. So, like, I'm seeing that the warlock put down an, a new hellstone thing, and I'm like, yeah, I still have three. But surely by this point I could have used it more than once. I have since gotten a little bit better at it, especially on undergeared characters where, like, you're almost relying on a hellstone because anything just about kills you. This in combat speed power makes me feel like I'm on a speed druid. Love it. Don't mind me, just drinking, bro. Alright, so my strategy is I don't use a weapon on this boss. I, because I'm. Like, 99% of the time, somebody else will use a weapon on this boss. So I always save my spear for the last boss. Which is fine, because you can see somebody used a weapon on the, him already. Um, he would have died in, like, one phase otherwise, but it's fine, because he's going to die, like, really fast here anyway.
One more to go. I said I could, but then somebody else did it faster. I don't think I realized that anybody drums at the, uh... The, the, the other boss. Perfection. I wish I could just, like, banish people that I'd had enough of. To a gauntlet, so it would take them forever to come back. Or, like, I guess in the sense of, like, a work relationship, uh, maybe it would prevent them from emailing me again for, like, ten minutes. That would be fine. A victory well earned. And there we go. Yay. Got it. And it's a plus two. 39 points. Did we redeem ourselves? <laughs> I'd say yeah. I think we did. After four untimed ones, having three timed and one untimed due to like a, some kind of cringy problems at the start, it wasn't so bad. Like at least consistently, you know, things were decent. So this was, I'll consider this a, a good experience. So for this episode... I'm looking at the bingos, and honestly, I don't think we're going to get anything for painful, just because nothing seems to apply, finally. <laughs> and for wholesome, while a couple of these things like maybe could apply, we're going to just go ahead and go with, it's a wonderful group overall for our first couple of groups where people were friendly and nice, and even though we didn't like three chest anything or whatever, it was still like a positive experience that was nice. So we're going to go ahead and give ourselves that. Now, for those of you who enjoy this series, or enjoy the concept of this series, but would prefer to see something from Season 3, I'm going to go ahead and recommend you to Kennedy's channel. He's in the middle of posting a Season 3 Zero to KSM with a Venthyr Resto Druid. So, that's kind of spicy, and it's been pretty fun so far, so I think you guys should go check him out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description if you're interested. As far as the next episode goes, I can't tell you if it'll be out Wednesday or next Sunday, but it's going to be a long one. Maybe not as long as some of my previous videos, but we'll see. It's a, I'm going to call it the Morgue Special. So we run into a group of people from another server who kind of have a, like a keystone community in the game, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be long. I pretty much spend the like New Year's Eve evening running keys with these people. It's a blast. I'm excited to do it. And I don't know, like stay tuned for that. But it might take a while to edit. So we'll see when it comes out. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and happy healing.